Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nampo Manelo Magakula and this is All Things Entertainment. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you so much and thank you for coming back. If it is your first time here, please do make sure that you subscribe and you press the notification bell. So guys, we know that um, South Africa is working towards crowning yet another Miss SA as um, our current Miss South Africa, Olale Lamswane, is about to bow out. But now, one thing about South Africans is that every year, every time around this time of the year, every year around this time, yeah, I think that sounds better, there's always going to be a girl who's going to have her career ending. There's always going to be a girl who's going to have her dreams crushed because her past or who she was when she was younger is going to come crawling. So what they say is that your decisions that you make today will affect your future. So whatever you decide to do today whether you decide to post it on the internet or say it to the people who are around you is going to catch up with you in the future. So now, there is this girl. Her name is Tulani Nzojan. I hope I said the surname correctly. A very beautiful young woman. You know, she's got a dream of becoming a Miss South Africa. But now that dream is no longer going to become a reality because South Africans are very livid. What happened is, I think back in 2016, 2017, a guy he, she was dating at the time apparently raped someone. The person he allegedly raped was 15 years old at the time, right? So they, they were at a party and then the girl trusted the guy, Oguti Amuse Enlin, obviously, because it's a person you know. So Oguti the guy parked um, further from the girl's home decided to rape her and then afterwards go to Wamshaya. And while he was doing that, his friend was apparently watching this whole thing happen. And then the girl started speaking out and then people started, you know, standing up for the girl. But what happened is Utulani Nzojana Tiwa she took to social media and then she stood up for the rapist boyfriend and then she started mocking the girl who was apparently raped so twitter is now saying how are you a rape apologist and then now want to be the girl who's going to be called miss south africa how do you want to represent the nation how do you want to represent the country when you have no single bone in your body that uh, stands up for women. How are we going to allow a rape apologist to be our Miss SA? So there are other people who are trying to defend her and saying, no, but she was young at the time. Maybe you know, she made wrong decisions because she was young and she was in love. And why is she catching the smoke instead of the boyfriend catching the smoke? Because apparently the boyfriend was only in jail for like, Two months, and then the girl would take her. The girl took a McDonald's, Ayopa Ogai, in jail, and she made videos mocking the girl and the girl who was raped, mocking her, and then she was just saying, you know, all sorts of things. So now people are saying this guy has a very successful career as a rugby player and he was a rugby player even at the time he was accused of raping a 15 year old girl. But now the thing is, he's having a successful career and this young woman who was once um, Miss Sundowns now can't have her dream of becoming Miss South Africa materialize because of the choices she made when she was younger. So now people are saying, no, we are not crucifying her for being in love and for defending her boyfriend. We are crucifying her for what she did, we're crucifying her for for mocking the girl who was raped and for saying all sorts of things and for having Isbindi to take in McDonald's to a person who's accused of rape and 
their voice notes and their texts, you know, saying, Vele, this guy raped the, the, the girl. But now the case was thrown out because a judge apparently said he can't get, he can't get a hold of um, the key witness. But now, Ogai is having a successful career. Why all these years when he was busy, you know, being a successful rugby player, why were people quiet and not saying anything about it? Why is it that now, Ogai is entering for Miss South Africa, that people are only finding it fit to say, hey, Baba, remember what you did in 2017, 2018? Why has the guy been left alone to have a very successful career as a rugby player but now they can't excuse this girl i'm not saying i'm defending her i know that she has to you know um face the consequences of her choices face the consequences of what she did as they say umlando our boy you know and also social media does not forget but why were people quiet all these years was this guy not playing all these years why were people not saying hey baba why are you playing a rugby? Why do we now have to crucify Utulane this much? I know that she won't have, you know, the right things to say. She won't have, um, people won't be able to even trust her with uh, dealing with Izindo that um, affect women. Because obviously, if you win Miss South Africa, you have to, you know, stand up for women. And then, you know, because a rape is one of, you know, the, the, is one of ama um, uh, issues as now very rife issues as now in South Africa. How is she now going to stand there and say, "I'm standing up for women. I'm standing up for you know women who are being raped. I sympathize with you." While she, you know, had is being the to say, "My boyfriend didn't rape this person," and it is said that even Umamaga boy did say the little girl asked to be raped. You know, people were saying. The guy does not look like a rapist. I don't know how rapists look like. So there's a lot going on. People are saying Miss South Africa, the pageant, must, um, the organization must kick this girl out. She must be disqualified or she has to step, step down on her own. Just pull out, withdraw from the competition and just know that she will never become Miss South Africa ever again. Gushuti, the only Miss Azoba Nayunje, the only title she's going to have is former Miss Sundowns. And going forward, there's never going to be that dream of becoming a role model to that little girl. And what I'm failing to understand is, how is this guy not in jail after so much concrete um, proof was given? So the case just fell through because they could not find a key witness. Maybe she was young at the time a girl who was raped. Can't they reopen the case because now she's older? Like there needs to be a lesson of some sort, you know, because I saw um on the group chat that maybe he was part of or his teammates were part of. They were saying it does not look like he did it because this girl's like tarnishing the names of sports players you know we need to let men know that even if i could be sleeping around but if i said no to you my no means no i sleep with other people because i want to so you seeing me sleeping with other people does not mean that now i can say no to you now give me and why do people question the fact that what was a 15 year old doing at a party like, see, I'm a person because it's your driver, obviously. But does that mean that now a, 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 a boy or some young man has to come to me because or because he's seen me sleeping with someone else? I think our law needs to make, like, an example, a great example. And people are even saying, but why... Does every year a girl has to catch fire because now she has a dream? Why Abantu who are in the same room with Usenzo Meiwa not um, getting the same cancel culture that people are getting every year? Why are the people who are in that room, Usenzo Meiwa, still have ama, ama, ama gigs and they're still famous and nothing is happening to them? Which I think is fair. If we are going to have a cancel culture, let's have a cancel culture and be fair and be co be consistent about it. If we are going to cancel this girl, let's also cancel the next person. 
despite of who they are, despite of the status that they have in the society. The thing about, about our cancel culture as South Africans or as Twitter people is that it is not consistent and it, it is not consistent and it's like a hey, choose you know what okay this one is more powerful this one is more weaker or because now want to prove that we know something about this person or we can investigate and have something that would you know disqualify you or just tarnish your career let us be fair in what we do and also all the people who are, who are standing with um, the so-called rapist and also who are standing standing up for Ugel, I think that I do feel for her. I do feel that, okay, she had something good going on for her, but now she's going to lose it because she was stupid because of love. Guys, <laughs> men deserve nothing. There, I said it. Do not stand up for a man, ever. So, guys... Be careful of what you do today because people don't forget, especially if that thing is on the internet, especially if that thing is on social media because no one's going to let you get away with anything. Remember Bianca. Bianca was also crucified. She was trying to enter Miss South Africa and she was crucified. And there's there's a lot of people who are trying to make careers at um Batala, but people pulled out isn't it, that they did or said when they were younger. So remember to use social media wisely. And I think this is a developing story. We will see how it goes for U Utulani, but I don't think that she's gonna be successful. And now we also see with what's going to happen in a career. Yaga guy who was um, accused of a rape, and there's also proof Gutivele he did rape. We are going to see Gutigay because now this has resurfaced. What's going to happen to his career? But yeah, guys, um, I hope I made sense. I hope I was not all over the place, but that is all I had for you right now. And should there be any developments or should there be, you know, any solutions in whatever that come up, I will come back and update you guys. My name is Nampumelalo Makakula and this is All Things Entertainment and I will be back with another report if I have any. Okwamanje, gulungile bye.